Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom, and this is project one for the May 2024 mini release from Jada Blossom. Hey, so I'm using the new Gnome Dyes Firefighter add-ons, their glasses dyes, their stylized rectangle dyes, and the scalloped, the stylized scalloped rectangle dyes, along with the Sound the Alarm stamp set and the Sound the Alarm outline dyes, and uh, Echo Park's first responder six inch pad and their dog days um, 12 inch line. I'm just using this cloud paper. I put together the fire hydrant on the assembly video, so check that out. So I have a piece of bright buttercup cardstock from Paper Tray Inc. cut at 4.25 by 11. I'm scoring it at five and a half inches with my Martha Stewart scoreboard and my Teflon bone folder. There we go, working on my Stampin' Up pad as per usual. And I cut some paper from that first responder pad. This is one eighth of an inch smaller than an A2 size card front and I'm just using some HEG tape and I will add that to the front of my card base. And um, I'm gonna be making a super cute birthday card today. And it's easy, it's an easy one. And then on the inside, I'm going to add a piece of paper cut at four by five and a quarter inches. This is just some lightweight cheapo paper. I think it's Nina Solar White, maybe 80 pounds, something like that. Um, it's just, you know, obviously you could see pen writing on um, yellow, but I just think it makes it look a little bit fancier. Now on the inside, I'm going to add a one and a quarter inch strip of pure poppy cardstock. I'm just using my, uh, my graph paper to line things up. There we go. And then I will add a one inch strip of this firefighter paper from that first responder pad from Echo Park. Just a one inch strip to the inside. So there we go, isn't that fun? It's got a firefighter theme. And then I will trim off what's hanging over the edge with a pair of scissors. There we go. So I just think this is so cute. Okay, now this is just a piece of cardboard. It's like off the back of like a 12 inch pad. And I'm using a blade and I'm cutting a little strip on that little firefighter hat. So I'm just, um, you know, cutting a strip along it. I want to use this on the fire hydrant. This is pure poppy cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. It's my favorite um, red cardstock. So I'm just trying to cut through that just so I have a slice and I can easily have this sitting on the head of my, or on the top of my fire hydrant. Okay, so now I'm going to do some assembly. So I have the stylized rectangle die and I cut out that same cloud paper that I was showing you, that dog days or whatever it's called. It's called Dog Days My Dog. There we go, and it's just cloud paper, like I said. And I'm layering that on Paper Tray Ink Pure Poppy Card Stock. And I, you see that I weighed it down with an acrylic block. Now I cut out the glasses three times out of black Paper Tray Ink Card Stock, and I'm going to layer them up together just so they're a little bit thicker and have a little bit more presence on my card. There we go. And this was very difficult, <laughs> like getting, getting that glue on those glasses with my one eye out. I'm telling you, it is, my depth perception is really terrible right now. Okay, so there we are. So now I'm going to add this little area to the front of my card, trying to center it as, you know, as good as I can. Just on the, you know, trying to center it a bit. You kind of look at the two pointy corners, at least that's how I find that's the easiest to line things up. So I'm just going to pop that on. Now I've got a piece of paper tray ink, white cardstock, and I'm going to stamp um, a sentiment with VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. There we go, a sentiment from that brand new, um, what's it called, Sound the Alarm stamp set. And I was going to stamp it on the card um, because lining up things is pretty difficult right now, but I end up cutting it out with, uh, with that die. I just spend a little time lining it up. So as you see, I'm slipping that fire hydrant through, um, through the hat brim, and then I'm going to line up the base of the hat behind it. There we go. Because I kind of want it to be at a jaunty angle. <laughs> and then I will add the other piece, the, the top of the helmet, over top of that little fire face, firefighter piece that's sticking through. There we go. Whoops. Using my Barely Art glue, I'm just getting things lined up and I will weight it down with an acrylic block. 
There we go. Now I've got the little shield cut out of that same bright buttercup cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. And I'll line that up along the brim of the hat. And I'm adding that little flame uh, with a Stampin' Up Dimensional. There we go. And that is cut from Canyon Clay cardstock, cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. So there we go. And now I'm going to give this fire hydrant, of course I'm giving them glasses. I can't help myself. So I'm just going to glue this down. And I'm going to put it at a jaunty angle as well. There we go, isn't that fun? I just think he's adorable. And I'm going to give him a couple of little eyeballs. I'm using my favorite uh, Doodlebug Shape Sprinkles. These are called an eye for an eye. They're just plain little black, black uh, enamel shapes, enamel dots. And there are three sizes, which is lots of fun. Okay, so now I'm going to stamp one more sentiment. It says, you ablaze me. That's going to go on the front of my card. And then I think on the inside it says your birthday is becoming such a fire hazard or something like that. So there we have it. And then I will line up my um, outline dies and stick them down with some Easy C tape and run it through my Anna Griffin Mini Empress machine. All my die cutting today was done with that. There. And uh, there's the other one, that's for the inside. And I'm just going to try and get that um, lined up. I'm using some dimensionals. Trying to make sure, see what's flat, you know, how thick I have to make it. There we are. And then I'm going to have it kind of in the lower right hand side of that little spotlighted area, you know, in the stylized rectangle die area. I'm going to have that kind of right there using my reverse tweezers just to keep my fingers out of the way. And there we go. On the inside, I will stick down my other sentiment. And I'm going to have it right there. And I do cause some smearing. So I do stamp it again and layer it but I didn't show you that in the video, but you know, can't have a smeared sentiment. So I'm going to glue down this super cute fire hydrant on the center of this little area. And I'm going to use my reverse tweezers just to hold down the top and the bottom a little bit. Um, you know, there's some extra layering there. So just to make sure things are flat. I'm pulling out my banner dies and the embellishment cluster dies, and I'm going to use the uh, hearts and I cut them out in red and I'm going to add them um, you know in visual triangles odd numbers and all those things to the front of my card here so those were the two larger ones were from the banner dies and then the smaller ones are from that embellishment cluster dies which are lots of fun so I'm going to have a couple also below the sentiment And I love how this red pops. And there you have it, so cute, right? I decide to add a few of these little hearts to the inside, because I figure, why not? And we will add those with my reverse tweezers. So I'm just going to add a few. I believe I add three, because that's kind of my, that's kind of my deal, it's kind of what I do. And there you have it. So isn't that cute? So thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I'm just adding a couple little highlights too with a skewer white jelly roll pen and a number 10. And I believe that will be the end of this adorable little fire hydrant card. So like I said, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog, be inspired by the team. The Jada Blossom store to get your hands on these amazing products. And thank you as always for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Make sure you are a follower over at the Jada Blossom YouTube site and the Leanne K YouTube site. Bye everybody.